Hey Sainers, welcome back to the Saints TV YouTube channel. Quick video today just to give you a rundown on another week of training at Moorabbin. I went down on Monday for the time trial. We all know what happened there with Darcy Wilson. And I've noticed that a couple of Sainers went down to training today and they had quite the extensive sort of summary of today's session, which I think I'd like to share with you. Um, hopefully you appreciate it. Obviously, I'll try and get down to as many as I can. But in the meantime, when I can't go, it's always good to know that there are some Saners that are taking quite a, you know, quite the, the detailed notes, I must say. I'm very impressed. So this one's from someone on Big Footy. They said, enjoyed going down there today to eyeball some of the new guys and see how everyone is looking this time of year. As per last year, lots of professionalism in the form of well-organized drills and verbal from the playing group. Noticed Windy and Jones calling out instructions. Lots of encouragement. I'm not sure if I've seen such a well-sized group in a while, especially with Young Guns, Windy, Owens, surely full beast mode next season. Pooh, Wanganin, Molira, all putting on size. Hotton's a good size as well. Of the new recruits, I really, really wanted to get a look at Showmaker's kicking and saw him slot a practice shot from the boundary about 45 out like he was sipping water. Excellent stuff. Paddy Dow runs on top of the ground nicely as you'd expect and looks well suited to the team. Same with Bonner, who I at least think was Bonner. Hunter looks more like a man in his body now, which is really good to know. And him and Dow doing one-on-one -on -one stuff was wicked to watch. Both quick hard cats, same with Sinks and Henry, both powerful explosive units. Keeler seems to be filling into his body better now and has lost an awkwardness in his body from last year. Saw a sketch of what he might become, good things. Howard's shape looks different, a bit more filled out in a good way. And Campbell in supreme condition as you'd expect. Hasty was small and thinner than what I was expecting. Needs to put on a lot in my view, but the Irish guy O'Connell was decent and quite tall. King came out towards the end running laps. He looks perfect. Don't think he can get much better physically freak. So that's very nice to hear. A lot of positive, uh, positive notes there. We've got another one. If I just scroll a bit more. There we go. Um, this one's from Kick It Lace Out. So nice handle there. Um, Training Friday, rehab group was Crouch, Steel, King, Hotton, Owens, Van Ayres, Wood, O'Connell. Drills focused on ball movement, both offensive, offensive. I don't know why I said that twice. Really impressed with Pooh and Windy, very keen and diligent trainers and seemed like they were the first back and ready to go after each drink break. Zach Jones trained really well and his pace is a real feature. I know he has his knocks, but his pace is a real point of difference for us. He looks fit again after a year of in interrupted injury. Liam Henry looks really sharp. Great defensive efforts during the drills and intercepted many forward thrusts. He's been really impressive all week. Looks to have fit in really well with the playing group. Howard also moving really well and looks to be back in full fitness. Hunter Clark trained well and is so clean below his knees. His kicking skills are sublime. And even in today's windy conditions, his kicks hit the target more often than not. Naz looks like he's filled out a bit more. Not massive by any stretch, but looks more mature. He's deceptively tall. With him, Sinks and Bonner, we have some elite kickers off the half-back line. It will be interesting to see what this means for Jimmy, as I think he'll be competing for a spot with Stocker and Bonner. I overheard a support ask Jimmy Van Ayres how his injury was going as well, and he mentioned that he's going really well and should be back in full training post-Christmas, which is awesome. Allison also trained really well this week. He's an amazing athlete who will be a hard matchup for his size. He's an elite runner, and there wouldn't be too many his size that could keep up with him. Probably only his kicking lets him down at times, and it looks loopy and forced. Those not training included Collard, Garcia, Butler, Hayes, Higgins, and Caminiti, although Caminiti came out at the very end uh, and ran a couple of laps. He had a brace on his finger, so I assume he's had some sort of finger surgery but really struggled with his running, perhaps a fitness issue, which I think they mentioned today was a slight hamstring. Owens once again ran laps, doesn't appear to be injured, and like others have stated, perhaps he's being managed. So those are the notes. Thanks again to all the awesome Sainers that got down to training. Um... And yeah, I think it's it's just a good week of footy. They're back. They're training hard. Uh, a couple of dot points here from another person. They think that these are kind of the main attributes that we're looking to build from. Um, leg speed, agility, spread from tight spaces, and ability to burn opponents on the rebound, and disposal skills, ability to hit a target who has worked hard with leg speed, agility to make space. It's not been spoken about, but I'd assume this includes handball skills to run and spread. So You've got the notes, and those are clearly the goals that we're aiming for. I think that's really that bodes really well for the next season. Obviously, every team looks good in the first week of training in the preseason, but these are our boys, and so far, so good. So 
touch wood, uh, we have another good week and a bit of training next week. And then I think they'll finish up for Christmas and then be back second week of Jan or something like that. So thanks again, Sayaners. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry, I didn't have any footage to go with it. I'll plan to do that in the next couple of weeks, but hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. And thanks to the Sayaners with their notes. So take care. Enjoy your weekend, Sayaners. And as always, go you mighty Sayaners. See you guys.